called Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year. And the current year is 5777. Well, the founder of Messianic Vision, Sid Roth, says the three sevens are a sign from God. Take a look. Sid Roth is the talk show host of It's Supernatural and the founder of Messianic Vision. For the past 40 years, Sid has devoted his life to helping Jews discover that Jesus is the Messiah. When he speaks around the world to Jewish people, he tells them about the power and promises of Jesus. All these people stood up like God himself just had a magnet pulling them up to receive Jesus. This year, Sid acquired Middle East Television, which broadcasts in Arabic and English, and was founded by CBN in 1982. Well, we welcome back our dear friend, Sid Roth. Sid, what is this 5777? What's this significant? Well, uh, Israel has a different calendar than the rest of the world. Okay. And this is the year 5,777. Okay. I can just tell you a couple of things that I know. All right. Uh, since I've been a, a, a young Jewish believer, mm -hmm. the number 777 always appears uh, before good things are going to happen for me personally. For yeah. instance, I have dual citizenship in Israel. Yeah. If you look at my passport, it says 777. Come on. That's now, great. now yeah. we know from a biblical viewpoint uh, that God rested on the seventh day. Right. And so it's like a completion of a former event uh -huh. coming in to the new. And uh, when I think of the five from 5777, yeah, yeah. uh, I, I think of the five offices in the church. Mm -hmm. I believe that uh, just as I became a brand new believer uh, at the beginning of the charismatic movement, right, and, not, and a lot of Jewish people that are actually leaders today uh, um, as believers mm -hmm. came to know the Lord in this move of God's Spirit along with a lot of other people. Sure. Well, there's coming a new move of God's Spirit. Mm -hmm. And I believe that it's a prophetic sign that, uh, as Oral used to say, yeah. something good <laughs> is going to happen to you. Right. So you, you see miracles. You've been seeing extraordinary miracles among Jewish people. Uh, there, there's something... I, I watch you on television, mm -hmm. and I see you move in not just words of knowledge, yeah. but very specific. I mean, sometimes I see you or your co-host mm -hmm. get so specific where you describe someone. That's right. uh, and what I have found is I have friends that have invested their life in reaching Jewish people, mm -hmm. and they are sold out to God, and they love the Jew in Israel, and they may reach one or two Jews in a lifetime. I have found that if you go back to the book mm -hmm. and you look at the pattern, what is the pattern of New Covenant Christianity? You demonstrate the kingdom yeah. and earn the right to present the king. It's so simple, you need yeah. help to get confused. That's great. So and so what I have found is when I can, God has given me amazing supernatural ways of gathering Jewish people mm -hmm. that do not know the Messiah. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and, and, the, and the way is, actually Corinthians tells us the, the clue. It says the Jew requires a sign. Yeah. And what I have found is, you know, in Romans, Paul talks about the spiritual scales. Mm -hmm. The minute a Jewish person sees a miracle, the scale comes off. I'll give you an example. I start speaking and I have a flow of words of knowledge. Mm -hmm. In their seat, they, they, a thousand, I, uh, my last meeting, there were 1,040 unsaved Jewish people. And this, by the way, was in Israel. Yeah. And mm -hmm. just about everyone after, they, uh, they, there were so many miracles. I'm, I'm going to guess because we didn't count it, but there probably had to be at least 100 people stood up. Unsaved Jewish people, I've just been healed. And when that occurs, Mm -hmm. I th it's like the spiritual scales come off and people will reason. And once someone will reason, once prejudice mm -hmm. comes down, it's easy to show. Sure. I mean, who would not want to know pure love? That's and true. that's who God is, pure, 100% yeah. 
undefiled. Most people have never experienced the purity of God's love. I have, and I want the world to. Well, in Israel, that's sweeping like wildfire then, isn't it? it, it it's the most amazing thing. And, and by the way, the year 5777, yeah. I believe that many of the Jewish people that I'm leading to the Lord, uh, we've led in the last two years, not just Israel, in other mm -hmm. places, uh, I believe it's 5,000 Jewish people have made professions of faith. Okay. This is, un this, you know, this hasn't happened since right, Book of exactly. Acts. It's beautiful. It's, it's a new move. It's a new season. And these Jewish people that are coming to the Lord will be the five-fold uh, uh, ministers, prophet, evangelist, mm -hmm. teacher, pastor. Uh, and, and they're, because we're going to have, I mean, people need to be discipled. Yeah. They need to learn about the invisible world. Sure. And I have found miracles are the easy way to evangelize <laughs> not just Jewish yeah. people, but, but Muslims. The, I mean, so many Muslims in the Middle East are coming to know uh, Jesus now through dreams and visions. Mm -hmm. That's supernatural. It surely it is. Well, let me ask you about something that we were involved in some years ago called Middle East Television. We built that up, and it was on the border of Lebanon. Then it, we had to move it to Cyprus. and. You have just acquired it. What do you do with it? Well, to be candid with you, um, it is one of the most unbelievable things that have ever happened in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, it started with a prophetic word. Yeah. A prophet called me and said, Sid, I just had a dream. And this prophet, by the way, is 100% on his dreams. Okay. And he said, and I know within your life, you've had a lot of prophetic oh, things absolutely. that have absolutely. caused you to do things. Sure. He said, I saw... METV, and I saw you. Mm -hmm. I don't know what METV is. <laughs> and I said, I know what it is. Exactly. And, and then uh, the, the people that you sold it to, Leslie Broadcasting, right. unfortunately, uh, the uh, son of Lester Summerall suddenly died. Mm -hmm. And I called and I said, maybe I can buy a block of time on Middle East TV. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is literally, I want you to understand this. Every home that has a television set in Israel must carry That's this true. broadcast. It's must carry. And 25 nations of Muslim nations get it. Mm -hmm. I mean, God really used you and, yes, and the hard yes. time, by the way. They, that was, you had it they, in the hard time. There were time. tough times. We got blown up. They were attacked. Oh, I know all about it. Absolutely. So, so we have this network, and what I want to do on television is what I've been doing in person, Pat. Right. What I want to do on television is I want to platform the supernatural. Now, a lot of people say, Sid, why are you so mishuga? That's a Hebrew word for crazy. Why are you so, so <laughs> mishuga uh, for the supernatural? Because I am mishuga for everyone to know God, for everyone to know the Messiah of God. And I'll do anything possible to, to make him known. And I have found the e there's a hard way and the easy way. All of us have done things the hard way and the easy yeah. way. There's an easy way, move in signs and wonders. And when 50, 100 people stand up and, and they're, they're not faking anything, these are unsaved Jewish people, yeah, Pat, yeah, sure. and they're saying, I've just been healed. And then I say, sit down, and we're going to have some more miracles. They hang on every word sure. that I say. And if someone is open, if someone's closed, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter how supernatural you are. But once someone is open, and you share the gospel, you, I get anywhere from 90 to 100% stand up and make professions of faith. Ooh. And it's not that I'm so special, it's the gospel is special if you listen. Ooh. And I know how to get a Muslim, a Hindu, a Jewish person, an uh, atheist to listen. One miracle settles the argument. Well, if they're doing that, they'll be fixed to that television broadcast. You must sugar, and <laughs> they'll be there. Well, Sid, I want to pray for you. We did that. Sid wants us to pray for him as he, uh, with the anointing of God, as he takes over this very important ministry. And it's, uh, But they have a must-carry that Israel ordained that this thing would be carried on all the TV across and, the And nation. if you hadn't been faithful... Yeah. I could not be walking into the leg your leg, and this is your legacy. Yeah, yeah. I could not be walking into your legacy right now. 
Let's pray. Lord, I pray for my dear brother, and I ask for all the people in this audience that the anointing of the Holy Spirit might come upon him in power. Lord, give him wisdom and the anointing and understanding and might as he undertakes this tremendous ministry, and may it flower beyond anything any of us dare to believe possible. Touch Israel. Touch your people, Lord. Touch the Jewish people that they might see their Messiah, and there might be a day of deliverance for your people of Israel. And Lord, bless Sid and his associates in this. May your anointing rest upon him. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And amen. God bless you. Wow. <laughs> you are a powerful man of God, Pat. <laughs> God bless you, man. God bless you. Sid Roth, ladies and gentlemen.